Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. Hey everyone, in this video I am back out at a family farm near Coggan, Iowa, and we're going to see what goes on on a beef cattle operation in January. In this video, we're going to see all kinds of different things as they feed their beef cattle, as they clean out some of the cattle barns, and bed them. I did a couple videos out here before. This farm uses a Heston Stack Hand 60 to make corn fodder or corn stalk bales or stacks, and they're going to bed with some of those later on. If you've not seen those stacker videos, I'll put the link to them at the end of this one. But in this video here, they are cleaning out this cattle barn. Once they get it cleaned out, they'll bring in some corn stalks and they'll bed the cattle, and we're also going to see them feeding them. So I got lots of good drone shots on the ground shots of all the action. The cattle barns get cleaned out several times a year, but they do bed these barns usually every other day with corn stalks. First up, they are cleaning out the barn using their Terex TX870B loader tractor you see here. And then they got two different John Deere tractors, a Model 8520 and an 8235R, both pulling New Holland 195 box spreaders. Once the barns are cleaned out, you're going to see them use their John Deere 4440 tractor, pulling a Heston Stack Mover 60, where they'll pick up one of the stacks, they'll bring it in, they'll push the stacks off, and bed the cattle that way. Also, we're going to see the feeding action here as they mix up their feed ration and feed it to the steers. It was a pretty nice morning for January, definitely not as cold and as windy as when I was out here last year. Anyways, we're going to kick this off. Let's start out feeding the cattle. So to start off, they got their truck with their Coon Knight mixer backed in the barn here, and they're unloading corn out of two different silos. So this is high moisture corn. This was blown in the silo last fall right from the field. The one silo, the corn's coming out going through a roller mill. The other silo, I believe they told me they just blew the corn up there, and of course the blower kind of shattered it. So two different silos putting corn in here. They're going to mix some minerals and so forth in. Once they get enough corn in that they need, they're going to move the truck down the road where they have some ground up hay with some corn stalks mixed in it some grain distillers, and also some candy. Now, if you've ever been around high moisture corn, you know that this stuff coming out of the silo just smells pretty darn good. Now, this is 100% pure shelled corn that was harvested with a combine. If you've watched some of my other videos, I've been out on some beef farms where they actually put a combine corn head on a self-propelled forage harvester, and they're actually chopping ear corn, so it has the cob and everything in it. Makes a great feed. Every farm does it a little bit different. Now they're going to move the truck down the road to their other farm where they have a pile of ground hay with corn stalks in it. You're going to see them loading it right here. Now they're coming in to get a partial scoop of candy. So I saw a little bit of everything in here. Chocolate bars, caramel, a little bit of peppermint, different things like that.
in case you want a better look at the candy, here you go. So once all the ingredients are added, they're going to take the mixer up to the other farm, and we're going to watch them feed the cattle.
Now on a lot of farms you'll see them bedding cattle using wheat straw, oat straw, rye, stuff like that. Iowa is mostly a corn and soybean state, so there's very few small grains grown here for wheat straw and so forth. So a lot of the farms in Iowa, you drive through here in the fall, that's all you're going to see is guys baling corn stalks. So they're going to bed this barn using two round bales of corn stalks here. I'll get the net wrap cut loose and then push it around with the loader. Then after this barn, we'll move on. They'll get their John Deere 4440 and the Heston Mover 60 out, get a stack on there, and they'll push the stack off, and we'll watch that.
And here they come with their John Deere 4440 tractor and their Heston Stack Mover 60. So he's going to go around the barn here. He's going to pick up a stack and then they're going to take it in that barn. We just watched him clean out. They're going to push that stack off in bed with it. They only had to use one stack today to bed with, so I only got the drone shot here. Now, I'm going to put the link, like I said, the last year's video, so I do have a close-up view or an on-the-ground shot. So this stack mover has a live floor. It's also got two tracks on the back that work with the live floor, so they can back right under that stack, and it'll come right up on this trailer. And then it tilts down, they can take it in the barn, and then they use their loader, and they'll push the stack off, as you're going to see. Sometimes when they put all these stacks here behind the barn, if the one stack's touching the other with the winter moisture and so forth, one stack will freeze to the other. So these two stacks here, the one behind it got froze to this one. He had a little trouble getting out of here. So we're going to get a little bit of bonus footage. I had to bring the loader tractor over, give him a little push off to get out of here. But you can see he was kind of stuck right there. And here comes some bonus footage for the video. So just needs a little push here to assist. You can see the tractor does have tire chains on it, but it just can't quite get the traction. Here we go. Now he's off, they can go in the barn, we're gonna watch him bed. Although it's been many, many years since Heston actually made the stack hand, I still see several guys on Iowa that use these just for this purpose right here. This works pretty slick, I mean they do not have any string, any twine, anything like that, so they're gonna go right in the pen here and just push off what they need, where they need it. Heston made three different sizes of the stack hand back in the day. The Model 60 is what they're using here. That was the biggest one. There was a Model 10, there was a Model 30, and the Model 60. Now, you also hear guys refer to these as the loafer because it does look like a big loaf of bread. There used to be quite a bit of hay that was put up with Heston stack hands. Of course, John Deere made a stacker. Owatonna did. I think there were some other companies as well. But then the round baler come, and that kind of killed the stack hand market. I have some of the older Heston stack hand brochures. On the stack mover here, you could get a grapple attachment for them where you could grapple off and feed hay that way. They also had a feeder attachment on the front that had a knife and a conveyor so a guy could drive out in his pasture, run the live floor forward, slice the hay, and feed it off to the side. I did find a lot of that stuff in my travels uh, in fence rows, old pastures, and so forth that I have pictures of. And so one of these days, maybe I'll just do a Heston stack hand video showing you all the cool stuff that I found. Not many guys use those feeder attachments anymore, but anyways, we're going to watch them work here. So this works out really good. Like I said, they just pull up, they push off what they need. When this gets about empty, then they'll run the floor and they'll just convey the rest of the stack off the back here. I still come across some of the John Deere stackers, and I have made contact with a farm that still uses one. It just hasn't worked out with my schedule and his schedule where we could get together for a video. One of these days, I do hope to bring a video of that to my channel. As far as the Owatonna stacker, I found a couple for sale on Tractor House. Don't know any farms that are still using the Owatonna. I think they just made the smaller one, not a big one like the Model 60 here. But anyways, you never know. I do know where there's one sitting in a barn, but I don't think they have any intentions of getting it out to use it. But one never knows. I mean, with all the travels I do, I do come across some pretty interesting things. I talk to a lot of people. People message me. So just never know what might pop up next.
As you can see, they spread this out pretty good with the tractor and loader, but the cattle do a pretty good job as far as finishing it off, getting it spread out. That's going to do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did like this video, please go down there and hit that like button and feel free to comment below. If you're new to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you go down there and hit that subscribe button and check back often. There's always lots of new and exciting farming content coming to my YouTube channel. I am just happy to be able to bring this kind of stuff to YouTube that you don't get to see every day. I want to thank this family. These are very, very good people having me out here, letting me do this and get back here someday for a future video. Probably time next fall to get another video of them putting up stacks with the stack hand. Anyways, if you've not seen the video I did here a couple falls ago, I'll put the link to it right now so you can check it out. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, what I'm out in the field with, don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.